While standing on one of your legs, immediately a complex biological control system is activated in order to provide a stable stance. To this end, specific muscles contract in a sophisticated sequence. Such muscle activations result in subtle skin deformation that becomes visible on its surface. Our method aims for an activation model of the involved muscles by 3D reconstruction of the surface and subsequent analysis of such subtle muscle deformations. In the reconstruction workflow, we first apply a random speckle pattern on the leg and record the motion in a multiple camera setup. The dots are then reconstructed in 3D. To obtain a continuous surface, we register a template mesh into the point cloud. We additionally measure electrical activity in the muscles using EMG sensors. In this case, the activity of Peroneus longus is shown. These sensors are synchronized with the visual data. Here we show the deformation of the skin surface during the one leg stance. Note that most of the deformation result from motion of the bones. These are subtracted using a post-normalization step. We can see that the system renders very subtle deformation of the muscles. Next, we isolate the deformation of specific muscles, in this case Peroneus longus, by masking the mesh. This mask is obtained completely automatically from the data. It can be stated that this deformation corresponds well with the EMG. From the 3D surface deformations, we learn a model to estimate the muscular activity. Here we show the measured EMG from the muscle tibialis anterior in comparison to the EMG as estimated by our model. Of course, our model can also be applied to different persons. Only the absolute value of the EMG cannot be precisely predicted. Putting both curves on top of each other, we can see that the quality of the signal is reproduced well by our model. This also can be successfully applied to other muscles of the lower body, for example the muscle peroneus longus. Additionally, our model can also be used to generate exaggerated muscle deformations. Here we show an exaggeration by the factor of 6 of the muscles peroneus longus and tibialis anterior.